what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video we're going to talk about a apparent release date that we now know for stream 5 to start production and also it looks like some production changes as far as filming locations are in effect as well now this comes from productionlist.com which holds uh, all the latest you need to know about upcoming film productions tv series that are going on in the industry of hollywood uh, in the United States of America. Now, listing here for Screen 5, I'm going to go ahead and put up a screen cap of what I'm talking about. A listing here for Screen 5, you can see it here says feature film in development pre production, last updated on August 3rd of 2020. Now, it looks like apparently the film is looking to start shooting on October 15th of 2020. And if you look under it, you have a location of Raleigh, North Carolina. Now, what's been coming out from myself and other news outlets and from other YouTube content creators is that the movie would shoot in Wilmington, North Carolina. I just want to preface and say that the location saying Raleigh does not mean that some parts of the movie will not be in Wilmington. Now, the movie as a whole could pretty much still be shot in Wilmington. To the best of my knowledge, I believe Raleigh is like an hour and some minutes from Wilmington. They could be using Raleigh to set up some establishing shots or maybe something did happen and they are relocating to shoot the movie in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, or maybe Raleigh, North Carolina will just be one one part of the film where they, again, use it for establishing shots or maybe they use Raleigh for a certain part of the movie, but the whole majority of it will be shot in Wilmington. So, and then right below it, we see here that a woman returns to her hometown uh, when... A woman returns to her hometown when an unknown assailant commits a heinous crime and she attempts to find the culprit. Now we know that this woman who's returning to her hometown is none other than a character named Sarah, who many people are speculating is secretly somehow going to be Kirby Reed. Uh, as far as we know, Sarah will be our new lead character. She'll be returning to her hometown to investigate these series of vicious crimes, um, and she'll be returning to turning to confront her, turning to reconnect with her younger sister, Teresa, her mother, and Teresa's friends, um, Annie, and all of these other characters that we know are going to, or would be appearing in Screen 5 thanks to these audition tapes. You know, we have a character named Ryan. Uh, we know Jocelyn Hudon apparently landed the role of Teresa, that at least what she's making it out to be. When people are literally flat out asking her if she's going to be in Screen 5 or saying, like this comment, if you're going to be in Screen 5, Jocelyn Hudon is out there on Instagram, out there on Twitter, liking these comments. So it'd be very frustrating if she ends up not being in the project when you're liking our comments. But I guess that's her way of unofficially announcing it because she can't say anything. Uh, I did also want to talk on something that happened recently over on Instagram. I don't know how long this has been going on, but it would appear that Matt Bedinelli, Matt Bedinelli, Open, and Tyler Gillett have started following Nev Campbell on uh, Instagram. Now, to the best of my knowledge, because I've been checking, they had not been following her before. They have been following david arquette and courtney for quite some time because we started um i made videos talking about this once before these rumors about who could possibly be on the cast because of who they're following on instagram and twitter now the only two people that it had some bearing to of course was courtney and david but they started following them months ago they started following them months ago they didn't start following nev until just now it seems like and if with the recent trends, they've been following people who are going to be in the project when it comes to the main three, the two main three stars, two out of the three main stars they followed were people who were or have have been confirmed to now be appearing in screen five. We have David Arquette officially back. Courtney Cox is officially back. Now the directors have started following uh, Nev Campbell on Instagram. They were not following her before, so this is just a early sign that we're getting closer and closer to that official announcement of Nev Campbell. And I've stated this in a video before, it's quite possible that these three main stars have been locked in for a while. They've been locked in and this is how they're trickling in the news. They're trying to build as much hype for this as they can. And I think when we get that official Nev Campbell announcement, that's when we'll also get the remaining cast announcement, letting us know who else will be showing up in the film alongside our three returning stars. Because what's interesting here, so what's because what's interesting here is that is that the fact that on this production sheet from productionlist.com, I'm gonna put it back up again. Uh, you'll see here you have you'll, you'll have the three main stars. The original trio, you have Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox, David Arquette, all listed as the cast. 
they are all listed there though we know those are going to be our three building blocks our three building stars for this as they are going to use them to get people to go out and see the movie even though it's not going to necessarily be about them i hope that's i hope they don't use them as a misdirect make it obvious that they're in the movie but also make it obvious that the movie's not about them i would hate to see them on the front of this poster front and center when the story is not about sydney anymore we know it's not about sydney because of what we know from these audition tapes and again people have speculated these are just code names and sarah might somehow be sydney and this that and the other but i don't know how sydney now has a younger sister and why her mother is alive and the only person who sarah could secretly be if she's not sarah just being sarah is kirby because <laughs> we didn't find out anything about kirby's home life outside of the fact that in a deleted scene from screen four kirby does come out and say that her parents are out of town if you go back and look at the deleted scenes if you have screen four on blu-ray dvd you can look at the deleted scenes kirby does explain that her parents were out of town during screen four so there's just so many so many actual scenes from screen four that got left out that would have added a lot more character development and put a lot more depth into the movie itself uh but yeah, you'll see on that production sheet, as I mentioned, Nev Campbell, David Arquette, and Courtney Cox are listed there. The only thing we're waiting for now is that final announcement of Nev Campbell to be in this project. And again, it looks like the movie is going to be shooting in Raleigh, North Carolina, as well as Wilmington. But if it's not shooting in Wilmington still, but if it's not shooting in Wilmington still, it looks like most of the movie will be shooting in Raleigh. I don't think that's the case. I think it's the case of Raleigh and Wilmington will be the shooting locations for screen five as well as other locations in north carolina wilmington being the main main center of where this film gets shot at and can't wait to see what all happens again it's supposed to start shooting apparently on october 15th bearing no other first bearing no other uh setbacks come into effect nothing happens worse with the pandemic nothing happens with production nothing happens with casting or anything like that bearing that no other setbacks arise we are looking to have screen five start filming in october on the 15th apparently that's what six that's what's listed here of course we don't have any specific announcement announced dates that are going to come out to the public as of yet just as how we haven't had an official announcement that nev campbell is going to be in the project but she's listed here on this casting sheet everyone should take this very legit because the reason why you should take that legit is because courtney cox ended up being true and Nev Campbell's been listed here right along with Courtney Cox for quite some time. It's just that the only person who's been announced from this casting sheet is David Arquette because Zach Cherry stated in his video that the filmmakers involved when that sheet got out, they were apparently eagerly telling people to get it, get it down somehow, get it down, trying to prevent and flame the fire because it's legit. They are possibly doing this on purpose. Our three remaining stars are back. They're already on board and they've been dragging this out to build hype and anticipation. I'm willing to bet when we get our full cast announcement for who's gonna be in this project, it's gonna be when we get that announcement that Nev Campbell's back. It'll be an announcement that Nev Campbell is back to reprise her role as Sydney Prescott in Screen 5 and then we'll get a new list of supporting cast members with her and they will reveal the entire synopsis of, of the fact that it's not centered around Sydney, and then we'll go from there. I'm willing to bet that's exactly what's gonna happen because as far as we know right now, we've just been getting, getting the three main stars announced. They're saving the full cast announcement along with the big announcement that Nev Campbell is back in the role as Sydney Prescott. That is exactly what is gonna happen. I see it happening and I see it happening in a few coming weeks. Someone asked me when I think we'll get the full cast announcement. I think the full cast announcement will either happen later this month, if not, of course, sometime in September because the shooting date is October 15th, according to this listing. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. Are you excited for Screen 5? Because I, I know I am. I'm very excited for this project. Hope everything goes well. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. Also, down in the comment section, I'm going to have a link to the Facebook group. Join that Facebook group if you want to stay up to date on anything horror-related or just want to discuss horror movies or horror news amongst yourselves in the group if you want to just comment give suggestions on what should happen on this channel i also do some giveaways sometimes on my twitter account so definitely reach out to me on social media if you want to talk about stuff like that i give out digital codes to movies i'm gonna try to implement some other things but with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video